Hey there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, here to talk about sea monkeys. I know that's kind of weird because this is a crafting channel, but um, during my seahorse watercolor painting tutorial the other day, I had mentioned my sea monkeys, um, and a bunch of you wanted to see them. Either you didn't know what sea monkeys were, or you tried to raise them before and you couldn't get them to grow. So I thought I would um, share some tips and tricks and um, some advice on how I've had my sea monkeys um, alive for a couple of years. And um, <laughs> Just this is kind of like an inside thing for anybody that watched that tutorial. I talked about my sea monkey <laughs> Spirinella shopping outfit. It was this hat, this scarf, and this purse at the National Food Store looking for Spirinella to feed my sea monkeys. So I'm the crazy sea monkey lady. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is uh, pause the camera and then I'm going to zoom it in on my sea monkey tank so you can kind of see them swimming around while I uh, while I talk about the different ways to keep your sea monkeys happy and healthy. Hang on a minute. All right, here we have the sea monkey tank. Um, I have it on my windowsill. As you can see in the daytime, it's warm. It's 82 degrees. It's not in direct sunlight, but it is in a nice warm space. It does get sun part of the day. And um, I think one of the reasons a lot of people's sea monkeys don't seem to do very well is because it's too cold where they are. In the summertime, we have a lot of trees outside that give a lot of shade, so it's it doesn't get too hot here in the summer. And they certainly do thrive. Um, you can probably see them in there swimming around. The sea monkeys that have the um, if you see that kind of black patch, that black spot, you can see them on some of the bigger ones. Those are egg sacs, so those are females. The male sea monkeys, well you can see a set mating right there, invade, invade their privacy a little bit. That one that just went by there, they, were, they are mating, so the male one, there's actually a couple, oh my gosh, there's a couple couples in there, good grief. Um, so the uh, the male sea monkeys have whiskers, and I'm trying to find a male that isn't uh, getting lucky at the moment, and I can't seem to, but um, they, they have whiskers and they don't have the egg sacs, so females are the one with the egg sacs. So I think we're going to have a population explosion because I've got quite a few females, and prior to this I only had one. Um, so all that green stuff in the tank is algae, and I was kind of grossed out, and I thought, well, you know what, I had to go to the, um, I had used up all the food that came with the original kit, and I had to go buy some more, and it was a four to six week wait if I ordered it from the company, and it was really expensive. It was eight dollars to get the little envelope of food with the, um, you know, for the food and the shipping, and it's just a tiny little envelope. I'll show you the size. I got that right around here somewhere. This is the little size of food that you get. You see that? It's just a tiny little envelope. Um, so rather than that, I bought a new kit, and if I zoom out a little bit here, I set up this tank here, right next to it, and um, then I read that they really like the algae. It gives them oxygen in the water, so I was afraid they might suffocate if I put them in that clean tank. Now before, the, the, the um, batch of monkeys I had before this, um, I would meticulously use a little eyedropper and I would suck up all the grime on the bottom, the algae and stuff, but then I found out that they actually like that. And um, when I would remove some of the dirty water, I would replace it with fresh water, and after about a year, the uh, the monkeys were a little lackluster and lifeless, and then finally they did, their numbers just dwindled and, and they were no more. So I think that having the algae in there um, I think they kind of have their own little ecosystem and it works. You can see there are tons of little monkeys in there. The biggest ones are probably about an inch long, maybe maybe up to an inch and a half. And then we've got some, probably some teenager monkeys there. <laughs> and um, then there are teeny tiny babies down in the algae. They like to stay down there low and the algae helps the oxygen. Um, so they can thrive. So when I first ran out of food, um, I did some research online and somebody had said that they had fed their monkeys baking yeast. So I tried that and actually there was a population explosion. They got very robust after that. And then um, doing some more research, I found out that they could, that uh, what is likely in their little envelopes of food here is um, spirinella. So at the natural food store, you can get a big envelope, which would be probably a lifetime supply for a, a flock of sea monkeys or school, I don't know what you call them, but um, for about 80 cents. So I did that last time I was there in my crazy sea monkey shopping get up and my husband was like, oh my gosh, my wife is crazy. She's wearing hand knit goods, buying sea monkey food. <laughs> but clearly I wasn't the mo only eccentric person at the natural food store, I am sure. But um, so there would be my tips. The other tip would be um, when, you, when you first get your, um, 
your Sea Monkey kit, I'm sorry, I just knocked that camera, um, you will have a little packet that is uh, called Step 1 Water Purifier, and it's a kind of like a salty solution, and because these are brine shrimp, their water is briny, it's slightly salty, that's why um, they got kind of weak after I was replacing their water after I would suck out the grime. I have not vacuumed their little tank once, and this is going on, this is two years of Sea Monkeys here. Um, so you want to set up the, wa the, uh, the water like it says, but it says to use bottled water. Well, I'm out in the country and I used well water, and both times that I had a really, really long batch of sea monkeys, I used well water, and they, that worked just fine. Um, I probably wouldn't use city water that's been treated with chlorine just because that would probably, you know, that tends to kill bacteria and kill stuff, and I think it would be um, hard for them to thrive, but well water worked really well. It also says in the directions not to leave them on a sunny windowsill, but as you can see from those little rascals in there, they are doing, whoa, they are doing just fine in their sunny windowsill. So on this side of the tank, you can, I've got the little bubbles, the magnifying bubbles there, so you can see them. Look at them go. Aren't they something? <laughs> I'm so proud. But if you twirl it around, get ready for a ride, kids. Um, there's no bubbles on the side. And, um, you know, you may be a little grossed out by the algae, but they really love it. And it helps them, you know, thrive in their little ecosystem. So if your kids are looking for a pet, I can't recommend sea monkeys high enough. They're, you know, it's a, you can learn a lot from these little guys. And um, they're fun and, you know, they're really quite... Uh, quite cool, I think. Uh, if you have any questions on sea monkeys, it was really hard for me to find information about them. Um, I've learned all through trial and error, so if you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and I will get back to you, because I know they're, you know, I know the freak out feeling when you run out of food, and you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Um, don't feed them fish food, because that's made with shrimp a lot of times, so you don't want them to be little cannibals. Um, and I hope this helped out some of you guys that are growing sea monkeys, and I wanted to satisfy the curiosity of my other YouTube watchers. So, um, I would say subscribe, but this is probably going to be the one and only Sea Monkey video. So, if you're not crazy about Sea Monkey videos, or if you're looking for Sea Monkey videos, you pro probably shouldn't subscribe. But if you're looking for craft videos, then yeah, by all means, subscribe. Um, <laughs> well, that's about it. Oh, and for the, um, for the viewers that asked to see my dog, hold on a second, I will find her for you. I'm going to pause it. There's Hazel. She is my puppy dog. She's having a nap. She does enjoy her nap. So thank you so much for watching. I have no idea if I'm in the shot or not, but uh, thank you so much. Thumbs up if you like this video. And until next time, happy crafting. Even though we didn't craft this time, that's usually what we're all about. Bye-bye.